I've known Jerry not to be all in in any given year, <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, you, you know, certainly, uh, you know, we've got a great, I think, a great team put together. Uh, you know, I think, you know, the last three years uh, won a lot of football games. I think uh, 36, and uh, you know, certainly, uh, where we have to improve is the postseason. You know, we're going to get the right kind of guys who step up and make big plays in the postseason. It's been a challenge in terms of our success there, and uh, that's where we have to improve. Are there any answers that you that you guys have kind of come up with as to what's you know, going on? A, you know, we're taking a holistic view of this thing, and we'll continue to look at it. Uh, obviously, uh, being here at the combine is going to be, you know, a great time to spend some time in terms of looking not only at the uh, young players that are going to be out there, but just spending time, you know, together uh, internally, spending a lot of time talking about. Uh, you know, what we have to get accomplished, we think, in order to uh, take the next step. You know, from the organization on down, we feel we feel good about our culture. You always want to be better. I will say that. I mean, if you're not, you know, if your results aren't winning the Super Bowl, I think everybody's saying, how do we, you know, how do you ultimately be the last guy standing? Uh, but I think overall between, you know, organizationally, between, uh, you know, our coach, our, our personnel department, uh, like our leadership on our team's outstanding. So, you know, you're always going to have somebody who's, you know, going to say something, uh, you know, that's not, you know, that might be, hey, that's their particular thought process on why we may have come up short, but I don't think in general, personally, I don't think it's an issue. Good people, it's your boy Mr. Rome, Cowboys fan talk, right back. Like I never left, what's up with y'all man? Um, This one gonna be one of them ones where I'm gonna need to speak my mind to y'all, get some things off my chest to y'all, um, you can call it a rant, a diatribe, a soliloquy, um, verbal frustration, whatever you want to call it. Um, before I get started, man, I appreciate y'all support as always. Thank y'all for all the new subscribers and the love y'all been showing me. Um, I see all the comments, man, telling y'all appreciate what I do and I appreciate y'all letting me do what I do and supporting me. Let's talk about our ownership as Cowboys fans. Let's, let's get to it, man. Um, you heard it. I don't know if you listen to it once or twice, but I watched them clips a bunch of times trying to study body language and facial expressions and tone and candor. And I'm going to say something that might y'all might not agree with, and that's fine. I ain't had this much hate for a person I don't personally know, maybe in my entire life. And that's a big deal because there's like all kinds of people that you can create or gain disdain for. For numerous acts. Um, but he's right up there. Stephen Jones. This, this, this There's two words that come to mind. And the first one you're going to hear me say is arrogance. Just sheer arrogance. He is arrogant. Smug is another word that comes to mind. He don't care. Now, I put some things in. The, you know, Dak's contract, they brought it up. They keep hinting that they might not pay Dak. And I really, this is the first time ever, I really do genuinely feel like they might consider not doing it. But I don't think they have a plan. I think they just have, they don't believe in Dak. I don't think they've ever believed in Dak. And people that have argued with me about that aren't paying attention. It's because Dak doesn't want to be one of their flunkies or one of their gophers or, you know, you're part of the family. You know, Dak wants to win and win for the organization and win for the fan base. But I don't know if he wants to win for the ownership because they never showed him the proper love for all the work he's done to be a fourth rounder, a fourth rounder that was never believed in, fight his way to where he's considered a top 10 quarterback. That should be celebrated. Instead, it's denigrated. It's disrespected. You know, my boy Boss Cowboy, shout out to Boss, man. Always does his homework, puts in a lot of work. He was talking about playoff success and Dak's playoff success and genuinely one of the most overrated, overstated things is Dak struggles in the playoffs. Dak has played in seven playoff games. He's played well in four of them. You can argue a fifth 
with the last one because he started off rough, but he finished strong. But if you want to just go four out of seven, even that's above 500. Dak has never finished finished under 500 in his career, ever, start to finish. When you play the season start to finish, never finished under 500. He should be celebrated. Fourth round pick, not projected to ever be this, to still be around. He's outlasted all these quarterbacks. And all you do is just keep comparing him to the next new wonder. Yeah, nah, he should be celebrated. But, you know, Cowboys are going to do what they do. We're either going to have to take our medicine and realize what Dak's life without Dak is going to be like. One more year, one last ride, farewell tour. And we'll know within the next, like, 15 days what that's going to be, whether they're going to pay him or not. We're going to see. It's about to be a standoff. Um, talked about injuries. Talked about um, Leighton Van Der Esch and, you know, the fact that that's still up in the air, basically. They didn't give no definitive thoughts on him. You know, um, Stephen Jones talked about um, Overshone and Diggs and saying they're on track and they should both be ready by training camp, which is good. I hope we don't bank on just putting too much on both of those brothers, man. I think they're both immensely talented. I want to see what Overshone can bring to the table on the field outside of his college tape and, you know, stuff we saw in training camp um, before he got hurt. And I definitely want to see Diggs come back strong, but I want us to give him time to become the old digs, man. Just understand he's coming off of ACF. You know, um, Stephen Jones also talked about culture. And that that clip stuck out to me. That's the thing I played in the beginning. Because his, his tone changed. His demeanor changed. It's kind of like he ain't like that question. You know, some people might get chastised behind the scenes on that question. But it's a real question, man. What's up with our culture, man? We are good at marketing. We are good at you know, getting the brand out there. You you see it. You see the the hats in the background and all the stuff that we buy. And, you know, maybe we're stupid for it. Maybe we're stupid for it. You know, maybe we're stupid for packing that stadium and bragging and, you know, loving the team. Maybe we're just idiots. Maybe we are delusional. Spilled with a D-A-L in the beginning. I don't know. It's disheartening, man, because y'all know I'm, 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 I'm optimistic. I'm always preaching, you know, we going to figure it out, but... I'm getting backed into the corner to where all I can say is I hope we win. Hopefully we can get lucky and win. I'm getting to the point where I can't point to definitive reasons why we're definitely going to win. And it's not because of Dak Prescott or Micah Parsons or something like that. It's just because our team wants to do partial work. They don't want to do all the work. And they run away to get half results. They want to go all the way close to the finish line. But that little part you got to do to push over... They don't want to do that. They don't want to put all that work in. And we never going we probably never going to benefit from it. It's a tough pill to swallow. I'm not saying we can't win. I'm saying that with this mindset, with this arrogance, with this smugness coming from our ownership, it's hard to believe that we're going to push over the top cuz we got to conquer not just the opposing team or scheme or coach. We got to conquer referees. We got to conquer um, detractors from all 31 other teams. We got to conquer our own front office and mindset and ideals. And it's just frustrating. It's draining. It's tiresome. You know, they talked about going all in. And he said, well, Jerry looks like he's always going all in. And it's just like disrespectful. Like, come on, dog. Come on. You know what all in means. They know what all in means. That's why they threw that buzzword out there at the beginning of the offseason to keep us just kind of wrapped up, but I tweeted earlier on Twitter, um, or X, whatever you want to call it, you know, Stephen Jones knows how to ruin the day, man, just hearing him speak, looking at his face, he killed the hope that we were rebuilding, yeah, we was rebuilding hope, like, okay, maybe things go, maybe we signed some okay free agent, you know, Stephen Jones came out there and said, like, we ain't signing nobody, we ain't paying Dak, we ain't doing none of that, we gonna do what we want to do, because it's our team. That's how he came off. Like, what what y'all thought y'all had to say in this? Thought we cared about y'all feelings? Think we care about y'all? This is about me and my family. This is about the Jones family. Y'all peons to us. Y'all don't matter. Y'all are relevant. That's, that's how he came off. And it's just, I don't know what to say to y'all, man. They ain't gonna hear this. They don't hear my little old channel. They don't acknowledge our greats. They don't acknowledge the laws and the vaches and in the skies and, and, and Koye, Big Game James, and you know what I'm saying, Foots the King, like Mark Holmes and Shango and 
why would they pay me any mind? So yeah, I know I'm speaking to y'all. You know, I like to call myself the people's champ. Speaking to the people, to the people that support and love the channel and rock with the team. We all we got. Shout out to Nelly. <laughs> CFT, we all we got. Man, seriously. Because I don't know what to tell y'all. I ain't got no fantastic wrap up. I don't know. Maybe we'll hear some better things. Maybe Jerry can speak and tie things back together. But as long as Stephen Jones is in the mix, man. I'm losing faith by the day. Uh, 